Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Otai Media, and we are reacting to a brand new track from Skybreak and Keepsake with Comet out now on NCS. And I guess the question is, is this collaboration uh, Skysake or is it Keepbreak? What's the what's the actual uh, name of this collaboration? But I guess you guys will find it in the comments. But uh, yeah, this was the one that won uh, the voting, the poll. Uh, There's a ton of big releases this week from Skrillex, Mode Step, even Marshmallow. And I'm actually surprised this is the one that won that you guys wanted to see the reaction to. And if you think that's crazy, you can also be a part of the rea uh, reaction voting weekly that happens if you become a channel member for just like two bucks Canadian, which is like 40 cents American at this point. So um, join for super cheap if you want to help support the channel. But uh, let's hop into it. New NCS. New Skybreak, new Keepsake. Let's do it. Comment. That album work is also so good as it always is on the Keepsake tracks. And Skybreak, I should say, too. Well, both are artworks. In the still of the night. Gazing up at the sky. I love keepsakes when the stars began to fade. Dimming lanterns in our eyes. Thought there was nothing to find. I stopped searching for a reason. Just let the world embrace us in the silence. We are one. Can't escape from this feeling inside you. It's just so pure, the vocals. Okay, where are we going? I'll be there to help you shine. times. Man, that is such a keepsake thing to do, to do the extended oh. Oh. Yeah, talk about more later. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I said this, the last NCS song I did a reaction to. I said it's about the Sharks, the Sharks track. And I'm going to say it again because it's true. This is my favorite NCS song of all time. Maybe off the top here. I just first listen. It might, it might just be. 
damn, that was so incredible. I freaking, I, I, <laughs> I was, I heard some behind the scenes chat a little bit about how uh, the, some of the team loved this new Skybreak track um, and was so excited for the release. I see now why. Um, this is brilliant. I, so first things first, I love Keepsake's vocals. Richard Caddock, I love his vocals. They're very like serene and pure and they're, um, you don't quite get that same uh, style, I think, from, uh, from a male vocalist. Um, I, I think it's a very unique, uh, sound palette that I think just hits well for me. Um, and it gives me these nostalgic vibes. I loved old school Richard, I wouldn't say old school, but like Richard Caddock, like like 2016, 17, like when Future Bass was kind of at its height and Richard Caddock was going hard for it. I That was some of my favorite production of his. And this is like a mixture of like modern color bass and like 2016's like a decade ago Future Bass. And I love it. Like this is like perfectly right up my alley for like, if someone were to make a song, it's like, what is Dakota's favorite song gonna be? you like put everything together to make that that song that we just listened to. That was so, so good. I love that so much. Damn. That was so great. That is one of my, like, I'm, I see now why you guys all voted for this one. I, that is so fun. I, okay, the, the one thing I love, uh, there's so much I love about it. In particular, I don't know if it's just a keepsake thing or I don't know if, if it's just from my memory of the old school, like future based tracks. The, the like, the first drop, the long regular drop, and then it could easily go into some bridge or another verse, and then you kind of like ramp it up and ramp it up and ramp it up, ramp it up, and then get even higher and louder and more grand um, without being like a like a big rise. It's like a boop boop, and like just coming hard. Um, that that was mainly like so heavy on in that like first section, that first drop. That is just such a like keepsake style and song structure to me that I love, that I super resonate with, um, and I feel like. It's not one that is used a ton right now. I, I I think you get to like you have these drops and you'll find like a little like a little like a small little and then like more of a drop to like keep a drop section going, or you do like a big 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 ramp and then go into like a longer section. But you don't really have like a oh oh oh, oh and then like ah, like stay there the whole time. It, it's like a I, I I hope I'm making sense, but like it's it's a certain structure that I don't hear a lot at all in the modern EDM sphere and landscape, um, and it's a style. I again deeply resonate with. Um, love the vocals. Uh, I didn't get a ton of the storyline off the bat here. Um, just lyrically, uh, that's what I'm gonna have to to go back and look at. I was trying to look at the lyrics as I was going through, but um, yeah, I, I I like that it's not so basic. And um, there's some yeah great vocal range also from from Keepsake here. I just all around. I loved it. I think that this was a brilliant blending of both Skybreak and Keepsake's production. I don't think it was really dominated by one or the other. Um, and it just felt like a, a perfect tandem mesh of, of artists and, and styles and so, sounds. So, um, yeah, I love it. I love it. Thank you for requesting this one as the reaction. And, um, yeah, I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. What is your comments, your thoughts and reactions in the comment section below? But other than that, I'm Dakota from Botai Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.